Hello, this is Ms. Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss molecules to mass conversions. Today's essential question, how is mass calculated from the number of molecules? For today's lecture, you should have handy both your reference tables and scientific calculators. First, we have the list of equalities that we have used so far this unit. We have one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. One mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And one mole equals the molar mass in grams. I would suggest you write these down so you have them in front of you as we proceed with the lecture. Well, good news is that you actually really already know how to do mass to molecules conversions. Um, we're going to be using these same equalities again. All right, let's try this. Let's convert from molecules to mass. Our practice problem will be what is the mass of 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules of NaCl? And the first step is to figure out our math problem. So we know we have this many molecules of NaCl. So 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules NaCl and what's our unknown? Well we want to know the mass. Remember the unit for mass is grams so we're going to have equals x grams of NaCl. Step 2. Set up the grid and write our known. So our known is 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules NaCl over 1. Step 3. This is where things get slightly tricky. Um, what we need to do is figure out which equality to use. So look at our question. We have molecules and grams. So let's see what equality we have that has molecules and grams in it. Well, this one, the first one, has moles and atoms. That's not what we want. Second one, moles and molecules. Again, not what we want. And the last one has moles and grams in it. Not what we want. It looks to me like we do have molecules here and we do have grams here. The problem is those two are not in equality. They're in different equalities. We have nowhere where we have molecules e equaling grams. So what are we going to do? It looks like we're going to have to use two equalities. We're going to have to use both of these at the same time. So now the question is, which one do we use first? Well, if we go back to our equation, our, our grid, we will note that we have molecules up on the top here. So we're going to need molecules down at the bottom. So we will start with this one. One mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. One mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And this will allow us to cross out molecules. So we have to put these two in our grid. And being that we have molecules at the top here, we need molecules at the bottom. So we'll start by writing 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules on the bottom. So on the top goes one mole. Let's double, double check ourselves, make sure that our molecules actually cross out molecules, and they do. So, so far so good. Here's the problem. We're left with moles, and what we really wanted was grams. So now we need to find an equality that allows us to convert from moles to grams which we have right here. One mole of something equals the molar mass of something. So we need to figure out the molar mass 
of NaCl, we're going to have one mole NaCl equals the molar mass of NaCl. And to get the molar mass of NaCl, remember, we're going to find the average atomic mass of each of the atoms. Um, but because it's a mole, we're going to call it, we're going to use the units grams. So Na is 22.99 grams. Remember, you find this on your periodic table. And chlorine is 35.45 grams. And from there, we just add those up. And I got 58.44 grams. So to finish our equality, we have one mole of NaCl has a mass of 58.44 grams of NaCl. Next, we have to put this second equality into the grid so the units cancel out. So let's see what unit we have left at the top. Looks like we have moles on the top, which means we're going to need to use this moles on the bottom here. So we'll have one mole, NaCl on the bottom, and that leaves us with the mass going on top, 58.44 grams Na. Cl on the top. Let's check that we set this up right. Is it true that mole crosses out mole? Yes. We can also get rid of this NaCl. can cross out this NaCl. And we are left with grams NaCl, which is what we were looking for. So the last step is to multiply, is to solve. Multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, and divide. So we'll start with multiplying across the top, giving up, so we're going to multiply 6.78 times 10 to the 50th times 58.44 grams NaCl, giving us 3.962232, whoops, that's not a 2, 2 times 10 to the 52nd grams NaCl and multiply across the bottom which is 1 times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times 1 giving us 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Now divide. And I got 6.579594819 times 10 to the 28th gram NaCl. And this is an awfully long number, so if we just keep two digits after the decimal, we'll get rid of all this stuff. And you'll note that the 9 is 5 or bigger. Bumping our 7 here up to an 8, so our final answer would be 6.58 times 10 to the 28th gram NaCl. So, while this is actually a fairly long problem, if you're really, really careful with your units, if you write your math problem, look at where you're starting and where you're ending, by identifying the units. Write your units as you're setting up the grid and cross them out. It's not a big deal. Okay, let's try another problem. How many molecules of calcium chloride are there in 74.2 grams? This time, hit pause. See if you can do it without me. Then hit play and see how you did. Okay, first step is to write our math problem. And to do that, we need to know our known. So what do we know? We know we have 74.2 grams of calcium, calcium chloride. So we'll write that as our known. 74.2 grams calcium chloride. How many is our X? And we're looking for molecules of calcium chloride. So X molecules of calcium chloride. There's our math problem. 
Next, we'll set up our grid and plug in our known over one. So we have 74.2 grams CaCl2 over one. That's our known. Step three, we need to pick our equality so that units cancel out. So let's go back to our math problem and see what units we have. We have grams and molecules. So we need to find an equality or possibly two that have the units grams and molecules in it. So looking through our possible equalities, we have molecules here, but again, grams in a second equation, which means once again, we're gonna have to use two different equalities. So question is, which one should we use first? Let's go back to our math problem. Our known is in grams, which we have written in our grid, which means if we have grams on the top, we need grams on the bottom. So we need to use the equality that has grams in it first. So we'll start with one mole equals molar mass in grams. So we're gonna have one mole of calcium chloride equals the molar mass of calcium chloride. Again, we need to list the atoms and we have calcium and we have two chlorines. And we'll look on the periodic table to find out the average atomic mass of each of those and call it molar mass by making the units grams. So calcium is 40.08 grams and chlorine is 35.45 grams. And then when we add these all up, we get 110.98 grams. So that's what we're gonna put in our equality. So our equality will be one mole of calcium chloride equals 110.98 grams of calcium chloride. Now we just need to put the equality in the grid, setting it up so units cancel out. So our known on the top has units grams, which means we need to have units grams on the bottom. So we will put 110.98 grams of calcium chloride on the bottom, which means one mole of calcium chloride is gonna go on the top. So let's check to see that our units actually do cancel out. We have grams calcium chloride here and grams calcium chloride here. So we've done things correctly so far. Let's check where we're at. We're left with the unit mole, but we want to be at the unit molecule, which means we're not done with the problem yet. We need to have one more step. We're at moles and we want to get to molecules. So let's see if we have an equality that has both moles and molecules in it. And it looks like this one right here has both moles and molecules in it. So we will use the equality one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. All right, let's see, we have our equality here. Now, which part goes where? We have moles on the top, not crossed out yet, which means we need to use moles on the bottom. So we'll use this one, one mole here. So on the top, we have to write what's left, which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. All right, let's check our units or apply the mistake blocker. We have moles on the top, which does indeed cross out moles on the bottom. We are left with molecules, which is what we were looking for. So what we have left to do now is multiplication and dividing. We'll start by multiplying across the top, giving us 4.468 three to four times 10 to the 25th, and the units we have left are molecules, and we're talking about calcium chloride, 
and then we'll multiply across the bottom here giving us 110.98 last step is to divide giving us 4.026422 and a whole bunch more numbers times 10 to the 23rd molecules of calcium chloride and we'll round this to just two digits after the decimal so being that the six that we're dropping here is five or bigger our final answer will be four point zero no nope, four point zero three because we're rounding up times ten to the twenty-third molecules of calcium chloride and that is the final answer um, hopefully you feel okay about this it really isn't that difficult if you're careful with your units and that's it for today have a good one